Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. It is Saturday, it is uh, mid-afternoon, and my gosh, it is still all about the coffee. As you know, I've got my sleepover friend, Mr. Griffin, here, and we did not sleep a wink last night. There were cars parked in front of my house that he was very, very unhappy about, and he barked and growled at them all night long. So, coffee. Cheers, everyone. I've got my carrot cake cappuccino from my Smart Sips coffee. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last weekend. I'm just gonna kind of sip it slow out here and then put some ice in it. I might put some more creamer in here. And then I think I even have some vanilla yogurt. So I might make a little smoothie out of this later. I think that should be really really good but anyway welcome everyone i hope you are out enjoying the day we are like just high 70s today it's humid um but not too too bad it's overcast so the sun comes out and then then it's cloudy and think oh my gosh are we finally going to get some rain and then the sun's out bright again so so who knows what's going on i don't even think mother nature knows what's going on but any, anyway, I hope that you all had a great week. Um, I've got a few things that came in, so I'm excited about getting those done. I've got my boxy charm, um, my base box that came in today. And then, of course, I still got those two pop-ups, one from the Memorial Day sale yeah, a month ago, and even one before that that I keep forgetting to do. So hopefully I will remember so that when I do my boxy charm, do those little add-ons and then put it at the end of that video. I got some dresses. I know the dress that came in from Venus. I've got a dress that came in from QVC and another one that I should probably have maybe Monday. And those are all maxi dresses. So I didn't film the other Venus dress or the one that I got from Cato, but I will probably kind of do some kind of quick try on with those and then just kind of splice it all together so I can get uh, show you those. And they, the ones from Venus and Cato look really, really nice. I'm excited about trying those ones on. Do you know I did send everything back in my stitch fix? There was a dress that I absolutely loved, but it was just it was just too long um, for me, and it was fifty-eight dollars. It wasn't that that was a bad price to do. I just I don't want to pay fifty-eight dollars and then have to remember I've got to take it to a tailor to fix, and chances are that it might sit in my closet forever, and I never take it and never get to wear it. So I could do it myself, but sometimes with that stretchy material, when you sew, you kind of pulls and yeah so I'd rather have a professional do it so I did end up sending everything back there was a skirt in there that really surprised the heck out of me because I took it out and it had kind of like one of those fold over waistbands and I still don't know if that's one that you pull up here and you wear it like a sleeveless um, midi dress or something like that but when I the way I wore it as a skirt the length was absolutely perfect um, the fit the quality looked really nice I just didn't know if I wanted to spend $78 on a skirt but I did find a similar one on Amazon so I've got that one coming in probably next week and that one was $19.99 so if that one works out then I'd, I'm happier spending $20 on something that maybe I will wear once once or twice a month during the summer so yeah so looking forward to getting that uh, I got my book of the month club in and um, yeah so I don't get to spend a lot of time reading um, I might do 15 20 minutes uh, on some nights, but, you know, I usually go to bed somewhere between one and two, and I just want to just kind of read a little bit to unwind because I do have to get up. Uh, well, my alarm set for six, but I don't get out of bed till seven. Uh, yeah, so I, I need to get some sleep too. So when I start reading the same paragraph over again, I said, yeah, it's time to go to bed. But every now and then you get to a certain part of the book that you can't put it down, and the next thing you know, it's three or four in the morning, and you know you only have a couple of hours of sleep. And those are the kind of books I want. So. I just finished one, starting on my next one, so I'm excited to be moving along and reading again. It just It's just a really nice way to unwind at the end of the night. I still have Mr. Griffin here. I don't know if you can hear him whining in the background. He wants to go in, then you get him in, and then he scratches the door. He wants to be out, so right now he's staring at the door because he wants to go in. So... I think I will close now and we'll get him back in the house and I might get my stuff together to um, maybe do my boxy charm video out here so anyway I hope you all go out have a fantastic week um, I will probably check in 
if not during the week, then again on Friday to close the vlog. So thank, thank you everyone for all your support. You guys are amazing. Um, I love each and every one of you, and I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. Have a great week, everyone. Till we get to chat again. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. It's, it's a hard day. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to kid you. It's, it's been a hard week. It's a hard day. Um, it's four years ago today that I lost Rick. And um, it's... I usually post some kind of m memory or memorial on Facebook and I haven't been on Facebook in so long but I just wanted to share a memory and um, so if you want to fast forward through, uh, through this part <laughs> I don't blame you um, I don't want to lose my memories and every memory is so precious uh, I'm going to try to keep it light. I mean, I'm not going to kid you. It's it's hard still. Um, it would be so easy to grab a bottle of wine or my whiskey or bourbon. But I'm drinking coffee. I want to, my memories clear. I want them sharp. So cheers, everyone. Drinking a cup of coffee with you. So, I thought I would kind of share a, it was kind of, I guess it was funny at the time. So, I kind of want to remember those kind of days. But, um, I was working from home. Um, I needed to be here to give Rick 24-7 care. The state kept wanting to take him from me. And they would just send deputies and sheriffs over and social workers just last minute things and spur of the moment things and to try to say that I couldn't take care of them but they never caught me doing anything wrong and I kept records of medications and maybe I'll show you that book sometimes of, uh, what medications I was giving him and what um, his mood was what pain levels were and his blood pressure and oxygen levels and um, his weight I, the hospital bed we have took weight and I just kept track of everything everything that you know I saw them do in the hospital so that um, I would try to give them the best care I could and um, if I when we did have to call 911 or take them to the hospital I had record of everything that was going on but I want to share a good memory or a funny memory so he loved his bikes and um, even as he lost his legs it was like the bikes and riding on the bikes is what kept him going and um, and I could get him and he and, until the dementia really started setting in um, he knew how to hold on to me and so I could it was easier to pick him up to get him like onto the bed and onto his wheelchair and to get him upstairs it was onto the chairlift and once I got him up the chairlift upstairs and put him on the wheelchair up here and then get him outside because we had a ramp put in the garage and then from there I could get him on his bike so I could get him in the car but um, you know and every time that we went out on the bike we had to listen to fat bottom girls and for years and years I always thought that was a kiss and I thought he doesn't like Kiss. Why are we always listening to Kiss songs before we go out? But we would get to that part with about get on your bikes and ride, and that was where he would kind of like make that little thing uh, with the handlebars thing and make kind of make a noise, and then we would go down the driveway. So um, as he wasn't able to ride anymore, and and we did that for for a while, even when the dementia was setting in, um, and when he would get lost, I I knew how to get us home. So I could just tell him how to get home, but when it got to the point that he didn't know how to shift anymore, or even most days, he that was when it was like, okay, I need to take the keys, you can't ride anymore. But he still wanted to go out and sit on his bikes. So um, I was working from home, and he would you know, be calling to me, and I'd get him upstairs and get him outside he wanted to sit on his bike or he'd want to sit on his wheelchair and that bike was the cleanest thing I mean I still have all kinds of waxes and everything out in the garage and some days he would just sit out there for hours polishing his bikes and um, 
so one day that's what he wanted to do. So we had, uh, and of course I thought it was the playlist that I had on his his iPod. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was Kiss, but it was Queen all these years. So he would be listening to that song full blast with the garage door open. Of course he was still smoking because yeah, that was my mom said I had to let him smoke because um, it was, he was going through enough pain and. Uh, to make him go through not smoking cold turkey was just too much to ask and I should just let him smoke He wasn't gonna live too much longer. Just let him live his life So he'd be outside smoking and he'd be polishing his bike and, um, and Towards like the end um, Like I said he with dementia he would forget how to hold on to me um, So it was really hard to get him dressed but his favorite underwear was uh, from Duluth Trading Post, and I forgot the name of it, but if anyone gets that for the husbands about the no bunching, no binding, no tool wrench or, or something, they'll know what it is. So he had just those on, and they were black. And I was um, working from home, so I was on the phone. He was out in the garage working on his bike, just polishing away. And it was real quiet out there, and I got off the phone, and I thought, well, you know, see if he wants to come in or if he needs another cigarette because I had to be there when he smoked because he set himself on fire a few times and uh, yeah so I would have to when he smoked I had to be there and make sure the cigarette was out before he fell asleep with it and um, so I went out in the garage and he wasn't there and he was in his motorized wheelchair so I looked down the street and he's He's all the way down the street. He's down by the park. So I'm chasing after him and I'm calling his name. And he's like, you can't catch me. I'm on my bike. I'm riding Nancy. And it was really weird because he didn't always know who I was. So I'm chasing him and there he is down the street on his wheelchair, screaming at me that he's free. And yeah, he's riding in the wind. And I thought, this is social workers going to come. They're going to do a surprise visit. They're going to see him out in his underwear, riding down the street in his underwear, and they're going to take him away from me. So anyway, caught up to him. And I'm like, yeah, that was fun. Can, can you take me for a ride home? And he said, oh, yeah, hop on. So sat on his lap, and he took us all home. But uh, took us both home. But yeah, so that was, it was kind of funny, kind of scary. And, um because I just didn't know if it was going to be if this is the day they're going to come and do a surprise visit and they're taking him away but um, yeah so that was towards the end he thought his wheelchair was his, was his motorcycle but I don't know that's kind of what gets me through these days is just like kind of looking back and uh, remembering things and finding some peace in that and uh, knowing he's okay he's not he's not suffering so anyway if you listen to this um, thank you so much for joining me uh, you guys are amazing I, I know this is probably hard for some people to listen to but to me it brings me joy and remembering him so thinking of you Rick you will always be in my heart and I will always love you. Just like I love you guys. Bye everybody. Have a great night. Hi everyone. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. It's starting to cool down. It was another hot day today. Probably in the high 80s. But very, very sticky. I didn't put the air on this morning because it was nice and cool in the house and I figured I was working late tonight so I figured yeah I'll leave my air conditioner off it's like 87 in my house right now it's 78 outside so I'm hoping with the windows open some fans placed strategically that it will kind of cool down so I don't have to put the air on otherwise I might sleep out here on the deck tonight it's going down to like 59 tonight I guess that was just a moth that I don't have to be afraid of it's going down to like 59 tonight so that is going to feel so good for sleeping but anyway it was a busy busy week Friday so it was a good day today you know we uh, guys made me margaritas well you know I just had one because it takes me forever to drink one so I had a margarita uh, we had a vendor come in from Kentucky that's going to um, be doing some training classes tomorrow for our service guys our techs on the new controls on the machines 
and um, yeah, so he brought me a bottle. He makes, he and his wife make some wine, and so they made me um, a peach wine, so I was really looking forward to having that tonight, but I don't like to mix my alcohols unless I really, really have to, so I'm sticking with my margarita. I didn't put it in a margarita glass because I wanted to kind of match my outfit, so I got my Robin with a Y wine glass with our Swarovski crystals on. She's got a cowgirl hat. I don't, I don't have a cowgirl hat, but yeah, so she's in black. Yeah. Let me just margarita. I did mix some ice in it. Usually I don't like mine frozen, but you know, it's so kind of muggy out here. I think watered down frozen is not a bad idea. So cheers, everyone. Oh yeah. So good. Strawberry margarita. I had just a regular, because I got salt all over my lips now. I had just a regular margarita at work, but it was it was really good. So I'm wearing my wine shirt again from Amazon before I went a day without wine. is like, just kidding. I have no idea. And of course, I'm wearing my Miss Ellie leggings. These are the ones that were reversible. So they're on this side, and then they reverse to that animal print. Just really, really comfortable. I did start off the day with the jacket because it's, you know, kind of cooler in the morning. But, yeah, I, I might have left my fan on on my desk. Yeah, but, yeah. So just wearing a tank like this just kind of makes it perfect for wearing on casual Fridays. I got my book club, Book of the Month Club. And so I'm excited to uh, open that and share it with you guys. I got my whiff box in today. And I got my smart sips, my perk box. So I'm probably going to start my vlog tomorrow opening the whip box and then picking out my coffee of the morning to share with you guys. Though so it may be later in the day because I think I'm probably going to go to work tomorrow. And, and then I did a bad thing. I got a couple of emails today from Papa Murray's. It's like one of the local take and bake pizza places. And it was a Frito pizza. And I, I think on the third or fourth email I gave and ordered one. So it's in the oven now heating up. But you know, I got it on thin crust. Well, that one didn't come on thin crust. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I had to get a bigger size to get it on the thin crust. So, I'm hoping that counts for something. And my watered down margarita should count for something too, right? Yeah, all day, um, all work week. I wore maxi dresses every day this week. They are just so comfortable. I got a few more that came in um, that I was waiting for and I haven't had a chance to even try them on yet. I put them up to me and it looks like they're gonna fit. So I kept thinking, well, I'll wear one and then I'll just kind of film that, that day how it looks for like an outfit of the day and just kind of splice all the um, the videos together, but I haven't done that yet. I was going to say I was going to do it this weekend, but I really can't say if I'm going to do it or not. I need to go out and week back, and if it's like in the high 80s, and yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. But I have been reading Home Before Dark every night this week for I think last night I read for about an hour but most nights I only get to read about 15 or 20 minutes but I'm over halfway through loving the book so far it's it's really holding my interest I'm not going to say it's like scary scary or high thriller but it does have my interest peaked at times and so I am glad that I got that one right now I'd say it's between a three and a four for me so but I'm excited to be reading that one and I think I'm going to close the vlog short because I can hear my oven pinging. My uh, Frito pizza is done. I even forgot what was on it. I, I mean, it, it said Fritos and chicken, barbecue sauce and Alfredo sauce. And I forgot what else, but they had me at Frito. They had me at Frito. So anyway, I hope everyone goes out and has a great weekend. I um, hope you had a great week. I want to thank everyone for joining me. You guys are amazing. Amazing. I love each and every one of you and I'm just so appreciative of, of each of you. So thanks everyone. Go out and have a great week and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.